Hey friends, this is Brother Anthony Wynn. I know in the next 28 and a half minutes you're going to be touched as the presence of God falls in this telecast. I want to share with you the titles of Jesus, the Lamb of God that came to take away the sins of the world. God bless you. Call a friend and tell him to watch this sermon. Thank you. This is Brother Wynn. Thank you. More than 1900 years ago, there was a man born contrary to the laws of life. This man lived in poverty and was raised in obscurity. He did not travel extensively. Only once did he cross the borders of the country in which he lived, which was during his exile in childhood. He possessed neither wealth nor influence. His relatives were common and had neither training nor formal education. In infancy, he startled a king. In childhood he puzzled doctors in manhood he ruled the course of nature walked upon the waves as pavement and hushed the sea to sleep he healed the multitudes without medicine and made no charge for his service he never wrote a book and yet perhaps all the libraries of the world could not hold the books that have been written about him he never wrote a song and yet he has furnished a theme for more songs than all the songwriters combined he never founded a college but all the schools put together cannot boast of having as many students as he. He never marshaled an army nor drafted a soldier. He never fired a gun. And yet no leader ever had more volunteers who have under his orders made more rebels stack arms and surrender without a shot fired. He never practiced medicine and yet he has healed more broken hearts than all the doctors far and near. Once each week multitudes congregate to worship assembly to pay homage and respect him. The names of past proud statesmen of Greece and Rome and every nation and country have come and gone. The names of past scientists, philosophers, theologians have come and gone, but the name of this man, hallelujah, this man multiplies more and more. Though time has spread 1,900 years between the people of this generation and the mockery of the crucifixion, he still lives, he still saves, and he still delivers. His enemies could not destroy him. The grave could not hold him. He stands forth upon the highest pinnacle of heavenly glory, proclaimed of God, acknowledged by angels, adored by saints, and feared by devils by the risen personal Savior. He's my Lord and He's our Savior. They mock Him, they laugh at Him, they scorn Him, they want to get rid of Him, but I wake up thinking about Him. I go to sleep thinking about Him. He's my help in the time of trouble. He's the lily of my valley. He's my healer when I see Him. He's my strength when I'm weary. He's my peace in the time of trouble. And His name is Jesus. And I wish somebody would cry his name out in this house. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. I do not have to wait till Matthew and Luke to find him in, in Mary's manger. I find him from Genesis to Revelation. Hallelujah. I said I find him in every book. In the book of Genesis, he's the seed of the woman. In the book of Exodus, he's Jesus, my Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's a high priest and he's a representative of the tabernacle. He's my lampstand. He's the showbread in numbers. He's the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. I never caught this. He's a smitten rock that gives out living water. Hallelujah. They smit him and said, we'll break him. Said, you won't break me. I'll pour out living water. I'll change Anthony Wynn's life. You may not want me. You may crucify me. But when you smite me, I'll be delivered for that little boy. I'll be new hope for I'll be a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They thought they'd make him recant. They thought they'd make him quit. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. He didn't come just to walk on water. He didn't come just to open the eyes of the blind. He didn't come just to preach a message. He came that I might have life. He came that my sins might be washed away. He came that I might have a new beginning. He came that I could be free from the power of hell. He came to deliver. He came to break the yoke. He came to set the captive free. Buddha can't do it. Muhammad can't do it. Ali can't do it. New age can't do it. But Jesus does it over and over and over. He does it over and over and over. In Deuteronomy, he's the prophet greater than Moses. In Joshua, he's the commander of the army of the Lord. In Judges, he's Jesus, a true and faithful judge. In Ruth, he's, he's Jesus, my kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he's the anointed shepherd king who slays the giant. First and Second Kings, he's the righteous king of kings and lord of lords. In First and Second Chronicles, he's the faithful restorer of the kingdom. In Ezra, he's the faithful, the faithful restorer of the temple. In Nehemiah, my, he 
he's a redeemer building back broken down walls and he's going to do it for somebody in here today the enemy said you'll never be free again Jesus is sure not to give you chill bumps he's sure to restore you he's sure to mend you he's sure to give back what the locusts and the canker worm and the caterpillars eat away he's sure to give you a new beginning he's sure to tell you old things have passed away and behold all things have become new he's sure to cast your past away he don't care where you was last night he cares about where you are today hallelujah he ain't worried about yesterday it's under the blood it's under the blood I wish somebody would lift your hands and thank Jesus that your yesterday's under the blood I wish somebody would thank him that old things have passed away and behold all things have become new you are a new creation hallelujah you are a new beginning there will always be those people who will always say she's a woman that had seven devils he's got it Thomas but when Jesus looks at me he don't see my past when Jesus looks at me he don't remind me of my faults or my failures he sees what's under the blood he sees I'm washed I'm clean I am redeemed I am free you are free today hey friend this is brother Anthony Wynn I know you're enjoying this sermon I want to make available to you a prayer cloth the Bible says out the body of Paul was taken handkerchiefs and aprons and special miracles was wrought we mail out so many of these to so many needs and we're hearing of miracle after miracle and we will pay the ship. And when you call now or, or email us or write us and ask just for a prayer cloth. And while you're on the phone, could we pray with you? We have a team of prayer warriors who can touch heaven. We're seeing sick heal, homes restored. We're seeing finances turn around. People delivered from all types of addiction. Somebody wants to pray with you now. God bless you. In the book of Esther, he's a sovereign protector of his people. In the book of Job, he's a living redeemer. I know my redeemer lives. In Psalms, there's so many, but he's the good shepherd who hears our cry. Psalms 22, he's a suffering savior. In Proverbs, he's our wisdom. In Ecclesiastes, he's the meaning of life. In the Song of Solomon, he's a loving bridegroom seeking for his bride. In Isaiah, he's the promised Messiah, the wonderful counselor, the everlasting father, the prince of peace, the suffering servant wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquity. In Jeremiah, he's the potter making the clay one more time. Hallelujah. In Jeremiah, he's a righteous branch also in lamentation. He's the weeping prophet in Ezekiel. He's the river of life. He's the dead dry bones and he's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. And Daniel, he's the fourth man in the fire that shows up when his children are in trouble. And Hosea, he's a faithful husband pursuing his unfaithful bride. And he found me. He came looking for me and he found me. He wouldn't give up till he found me. Others gave up, but he kept looking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Joel, he's a giver of the Holy Ghost. In the last days, Seth, God, I'm going to pour out my spirit. And Joel, in the book of Joel. He's a restorer of what the locusts and the canker worm and the caterpillars eat away. And I hear it in my, in my spirit the second time this morning. He wants to do a restoring in this house today. Whatever you've been through, he's here to restore. He don't want you to leave with just a chill bump. He wants to, you to walk out of here in restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say my life will never be the same. I, I am not sure. I think you could have bought a 55 Chevy. If it was, it was an 800 or 1700 anybody know and it's, 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 it's let's just say $1,700 and that's, that's all it was worth loaded out but you take that same vehicle let it set out in the shed let it fall apart let it stop running but let somebody let Daniel take it to his shop take it apart restore it it's worth it's not worth $1,700 it's worth $75,000 the devil told you because of your rust because of your mistakes your life will never be worth nothing somebody ought to just grin at the devil say you don't know who my restore store is. He's not going to put a bunch of bondo in me and it rest out again tomorrow and I'm about to shout right now. When Daniel restored my little Jeep truck, I had some rust in it. He didn't put a bunch of bondo that's going to rust out next week. He took a torch. He heated it up. He cut away that which was damaged and he bronzed in new metal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to grin at the devil hang around and watch what Jesus makes out of this messed up vessel and the ball and the ball of clay was mired in the hand of the potter he didn't throw it away he made it again another vessel 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 he's still working on me 
I would, the second thing on my tombstone I would like to have, he preached Jesus. The second thing I would like to have, borrow from little Billy Graham's wife. Construction completed. Turn around and tell somebody that preacher's a mess, but the reason I'm a mess is because he's working on me. He's tearing this out and he's adding this. And he's working on my attitude, my spirit, my character, my motives, my reasons. And Amos, he's the burden barrier and he's a true restorer. And Obedidai, he's the judge of all the earth. He's mighty to save. And Jonah, he's, the, he's Jesus, the salvation of the land. The prophet cast out in the storm who spent three days in the depth. And Micah, in, in Micah, he's Jesus, the promised Messiah born in Bethlehem. And Nahum, he's the avenge of God's elect. And Habakkuk, he's the evangelist. Jesus is crying, hallelujah. And Zephaniah, he's a, he's a preserver and restorer of his remnant and kingdom. And Haggai, he's Jesus, the desire of all nations. And Zechariah, he's a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and uncleanness in the book of Malachi and he's going to see the son of righteousness rise with healing in his wings he also in Malachi he's the refiner fire and Matthew he's king of the Jews and Mark he's Jesus the, the, the wonder worker and Luke he's the son of man and John he, he's the word made flesh which dwelled among us he's the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world and Acts he's a risen savior bringing the salvation to all nations in Romans he's our just the fire and the righteousness of God. First Corinthians, he's the rock. Second Corinthians, he's our sanctifier. Galatians, he's our redeemer from the curse of the law. In Ephesians, he's the head of the church. In Philippians, he's the supplier by God. Shall supply all your needs. Hallelujah. In Colossians, he's the firstborn of creation, the head of the church. First Thessalonians, he's coming again with the trumpet and a shout to meet believers in the clouds. Second Thessalonians, he's the believer patient as they wait to his return. In 1 Timothy he's our mediator between God and man. In 2 Timothy he's the seed of David risen from the dead. He's our salvation. In Titus he's our blessed hope and our faithful pastor. In the book of Philemon he's our redeemer restoring us. Hallelujah. In Hebrews he's the high priest. He's the author and the finish of our faith. In James he's the one that works faith. Hallelujah when you need him. In 1 Peter he's the lively stone. The chief cornerstone and the rock of all things. It's in 2 Peter, he's the faithful one, the long-suffering Lord, not willing that any should perish. In 1 John, he's love and truth and the eternal God. In 2 John, he's the truth by which we walk in love. In 3 John, he's all that is good and hospitality. In Jude, he's the one who keeps us from stumbling and pre presents us spotless with great joy. In Revelation, he's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. He's the first and the last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want to talk about Jesus a little bit. I didn't come here to tell you how bad the economy is. I didn't come here to tell you what a mess the nation's in. I didn't come here to tell you how big the devil is. I come to tell you we're in good hands. I come to tell you Jesus is still alive. I come to tell you he's the exalted one. He's the mighty one. He's the eternal one. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He still saves and he still delivers. And there's still a fountain filled with blood. I come to tell you if you hold on to him, him, you'll never lose. If you hold on to him, you'll never sink. If you hold on to him, hell will never take over. I've come to tell you, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. To the artist, he's the one altogether lovely. To the army, he's the commander. To the architect, he's the chief cornerstone. To the astronomer, he's the son of righteousness. To the baker, he's the living bread. To the banker, he's unsearchable riches and hidden treasures. To the bride, he's the coming bridegroom. To the biologist, he's life. To the carpenter, he's the sure foundation. To the car maker, he's the wheel in the middle of the wheel. I found this one. To the cook, he's a tender plan. Hallelujah. To the doctor, he's a bomb in Gilead. To the editor, He's good tidings of great joy. To the educator, he's the great teacher. To the farmer, he's the seed of the woman. He's the sower and the Lord of the harvest. Hallelujah. To the florist, he's the lily of the valley and the rose of Sharon. To the geologist, he's the rock of ages. To the horticulturist, he's the true vine. To 
the inventor, he's the new and living way. To the judge, he's the righteous one. To the jury, he's a true witness. To the jeweler, he's a pearl of great price. To the king, to any king in the world, he's not just a king, he's king of kings and he's Lord of lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey friend, this is Brother Anthony Wynn. I want to make available to you dealing with grief. It's 19 people's story of someone they lost past and their world shook and it just their hearts was broken their dreams all fell apart and this is 19 people's story of God restoring them and healing their brokenness and helping them from day to day so whatever your story is could we mail this to you we'll pay the postage it's a free gift to you and while you're on the phone we have prayer warriors uh, I believe that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Jesus cares about what you're facing. He cares about the load you're carrying. And, it, and I've go through all these titles of Jesus. Whatever your need is, he wants to help you right now. Hallelujah. Call, let us pray with you. Hey friend, do you have people in your life that's bound by addiction? Whatever type it is, this is people's story who God broke chains off their life. From drugs to drink to any type of addiction that destroys life. Satan will use anything, but there's power for you and there's victory for you. If God will move for these people, he'll move for you. Call or write right now and ask for this book, Breaking Every Chain. It's a free gift to you and we'll pay the postage. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. To the lawyer, he is the judge and the advocate. To the block mason, brother Joe, he's, he's the rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a cornerstone you can build on. To the magicians, he's the song in the night. To the news reporter, he's good news. To the oppressed, he's the prince of peace. To the philosopher, he's wisdom. To the printer, he's the truth. To the preacher, he's the word of God. To the quilter, he's the comforter. To the reporter, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the reporter, he's good news to the roofer. He's a nail in a sure place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can see LeBron up on that roof. I got. I can't put this nail in a rotten board. My, my, my life depends on it. Can I tell somebody, I don't care how steep your journey is, he's a nail in a sure place. You can trust him when I ever think around you shaking. I hear Joanne walking here about 12 years ago and she said when I'm overwhelmed, lead me to that rock that's higher than I. Hallelujah. If you face it, something bigger than you can I tell you about a rock that'll never fall her? Can I tell you about a king who'll never be conquered? Can I tell you about a general who'll never surrender? Can I tell you about a doctor who'll never fail? Can I tell you about a lawyer who's never lost? Can I tell you about a friend who'll never leave you? Can I tell you about a God who'll never mess up? He'll never get lost. He'll never lead you the wrong way. And his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And he wants to help you right now. He wants to move for you right now. To the sculpture, he's the living stone. To the timekeeper, he's eternity. To the undertaker, he's power over death and the grave. <laughs> to the vocal, vocal. He's the Holy Ghost and fire. To the victim, he's new beginning. To the writer, he's the author and the finish of our faith. And for the joy that's set before him, endured the cross and despised the shame and is set down on the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who endured such contradiction against himself, lest you be weary and faint in your mind. To the weary, he's the burden barrier. To the x-ray tech, he's the image of the firstborn. Hallelujah. To the, to the yard man, he's the plan of renown. And to the zoologist, he's the lamb of God. And he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. When you speak the name of Jesus, enemies has to flee. Speak his name, it brings peace. The Bible, the King James Bible, it has 783,137 words. The longest word is eternity. The saddest word is rejected. The ugliest word is sin. The oldest word is God. The greatest word is salvation. But the most precious word is love. The most powerful word is the blood. But the sweetest name that I know in the, that book, in this book, his name is Jesus. Jesus loved us when we was a mess. He died for us when we was lost. Jesus is wounded for your transgression. Jesus is bruised for your iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. He bled for you. He died for you. And he rose again for you. He become like you so you can become like him. And you can get to him so he came to you. He came. Hallelujah. You live because he died. The only true savior of mankind. The only 
sacrifice to pay our joy. 8, uh, 8 21 08, I wrote this. He never attended any medical school, yet he has mended and healed more broken bodies and soul than all the doctors in the world. He never was a general, yet his army reaches into every nation on the earth. He made the world, yet he owned no home. He created the rivers and the oceans, yet he cried, I thirst. As a 12 year old, his mother lost him. As a savior, he was our only hope of salvation. He's, he was been mocked, laughed at, and scorned. Yet he remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. He died on a cross, yet he lives forever. They could not take his life. He had to willingly give it. They could not make him hate because he was perfect love. They could not make him stop because he was the beginning, the end. Satan couldn't buy him off. He was not for sale. Could not make him fear. He was perfect love. He died on Calvary, yet he lives in my heart. Never wrote a book, just wrote in the sand and changed a woman's life. He never carried a bucket, yet he's, yet he's given more people a drink of living water than all the wells in the world. They took his garment from him, but he willingly gave them his life. They gambled for his robe, but with his blood he bought back their soul. They cried away with him. He cried, come on to me. They cried, crucify him. He cried, forgive them. They don't know what they do. They cried, give us Barabbas. He cried, give me your birds. They built him a cross. He built us a mansion. They drove nails in his hands. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. I'm building you a Oh, they smote him with their hands. He blessed them with his little hands. They put guards in his tomb. He puts angels around you. They call him a sinner. They call, he called them his children. He became poor yet rich enough to become your ransom. Born and born in a barn. Now he lives in glory. They tried to stop his light yet he remains a light of the world. Webster could never fully describe him. John called him the Lamb of God. He would sleep because he was a man but he would walk on water because he was God. On his mother's side, he was 12 years old. But on that heavenly side, he said, before Abraham was, I am. On his mother's side, he would die at the hands of sinners. But on that eternal side, he would forgive sinners. On his mother's side, on this man part, he would weep at Lazarus' tomb. But on that eternal part, he'd cry, Lazarus, come forth. Death, you've got to let him go. And I wish somebody would stand to your feet and worship him. He's in this room right now. He came to earth so we could go to heaven. He carried a cross so we could wear a crown. He wore stripes so we could walk in hell. They tried to get him out of the way. He was the way. He stood before the 4,000 that were hungry. If they were only knew he was living bread. He was the seed of the woman that grew into the tree of life. They wanted the king. He came as a lamb. Hell feared him. I adore him. This world mocks him. We worship him. They want to forget him. He's always on our mind. He's Jesus, my friend. He's Jesus. Jesus, my Savior, my healer, my deliverer. I want to say it one more time. He's the Alpha. He's Adonai. He's the Advocate. He's the Almighty. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. He's the, he's the bride. He's the hallelujah, the bridegroom. He's the babe of Bethlehem, the bridegroom, the bread of life, the bride and morning star. He's the Christ, the creator, the cornerstone, the counselor, the chosen one, the chief shepherd. He's the door, the day spring, the delight and the deliverer. He's Emmanuel, the exalted one, forever and everlasting. He's the first fruit of the righteous. He's the foundation of life. The foundation of the church and he's a friend of sinners. He's our God. He's good. He's a good shepherd. The great physician. He's our hope. Our healer. Our redeemer. He's the high priest. He's the great I am. He's our inheritance. He's immortal. He's the invisible one. He's our joy and our justifier. He's king of kings. He's king of glory. He's my king. Hallelujah. He's the Lord. He's the life. He's the love. He's the light of the world. He's the living water. He's the Lamb of God. He's the Messiah, the Master, the Mediator, the Messenger, the Man of Sorrow. He's Jesus of Nazareth. He's the new wine. He's the new covenant. His name is above every name. His name is Jesus. He's the Omega. He's the offering for sin. The only begotten of the Father. He's the prophet, the priest. He's our Passover. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the, he's the, he's the quieter of the storms of life. He's the Redeemer. He's refuge. He's a refiner. The Rose of Shirt. The resurrection and the life. He's Savior, Shepherd. He's a suffered Shepherd, Servant. He's the Son of God. He's the Lamb of God. He's the Lily of the Valley. He's true. 
truth. He's our teacher. He's the unblemished Lamb of God. He's the vine, the victorious sacrifice. He's victory over the grave. He's the way, the word of the life made flesh. He's the witness, the water of life. He's our wonderful counselor. And I wish somebody praise him out loud. I wish you'd praise him till he fills his house. I wish you'd... I wish somebody go ahead and just lift your voice. Hallelujah. I don't ever quit. Don't ever let go. Don't ever stop. If you cry, get back up. If life knocks you down, get back up. If you go through a storm, get back up. If your world shakes, get back up. He's a present help in time of trouble. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. Do you know him? Do you know him? Do you love him? Do you know him? If you don't know him, would you come to this altar and meet him? If you don't know him, would you come and let him introduce himself to you? If you don't know him, would you come? Oh, millions have come. There's still room for one. There's room. There's room. At the I want to pray with you, dear friends. Jesus Somebody out there is lost. Somebody standing in the shadow of the steeple. They don't know how to get back to God. But I feel the hand of the Lord drawn right now. And you said if we would confess our sins and forsake our sins, turn from them. You was faithful you was just to forgive us, to wash us and cleanse us. So Lord, forgive us right now. Pray with me, friend. Come into our heart. Be the Lord of our life. Hallelujah. God, give them a new beginning. Wash every, sin, every guilt away. Write their name down in the Lamb's book of life. Let it be a new start from this day forward. God, I pray for the sick. I pray for those whose load's heavy, those that's lost to love, and I pray peace that passeth all understanding. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Friends, we love you. Here's the number. If you need more prayer, call. Somebody's waiting to pray with you now. If the line's busy, call back. Someone will, will get a hold of you. We love you. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, dear friend. This is Brother Anthony Wynn. Thank you for allowing me to share with you this gospel that Jesus still saves, heals, and delivers. My load is heavy here at the team. We carry a heavy load, and I'm believing this year that God's going to add new partners. Some of you could send monthly a large sum. Some of you could send $10 a month to help me carry these broadcasts. I want you to be part, and then when we get to heaven, you'll be part of the reward of every heart that's touched and life that's changed. But God's speaking to some of you. You've been praying about where to plant your seed, where to partner. Little Betty Jean Robertson, she was a personal friend, came to our church every year. And she said, Brother Wynn, I believe that Anthony Wynn and Sheila Wynn and Oasis Ministries is a good field to sow in. And she was a monthly partner. And she's in heaven now. But I believe God's speaking to some of you to partner with us. I believe in you to help me reap this end time harvest. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you for joining us at Anthony Wynn Ministries. This is our 20th year of touching hearts and changing lives through TV ministry. And this is made possible by our partners. Because of your kindness, we have reached over 150 million homes worldwide, and we're currently in the process of constructing a new office space and studio building. It is our goal to double in size this year and add new stations to our outreach. Currently, we send out thousands of free resources monthly, and your donations and partnerships make this possible. Partner with us today and become part of our ministry as we reach an orphanage in Haiti, a recovery center, and all our local missions. When you partner with us, you can receive a free DVD or CD, a monthly newsletter, and an Oasis magazine. Just call 1-877-226-4088 or visit our website at anthonywin.org. Thank you. God bless you.